Very excited, but there's an awful lot to be done in that last three weeks, I have to say. Uh, there's so many things I can see lying around. We've got little stickers just telling us you know, what's going in place. Well, there's a lot to be delivered prior to that date. So the excitement, I think, will kick in the minute we're ready. <laughs> Just be honest with you. We actually closed with the public on the 29th of October, but there we had a couple of events which were, you know, evening events people could come to. So we officially stopped on the on the 11th of November, and now we've been closed since then. But we, the work did start before that. And obviously, that's been closed for quite a while. So how well have all the works been going? They've been going very well. I mean, there's been a, a, an amazing job by the um, by the volunteers that have come in and just just worked so tirelessly at getting you know stuff, getting the aircraft in and out. They've done all that, delivered all these things for us to make it. You know, I think without them, this. Oh, who knows where we'd be. What kind of things can people expect when they come to the museum? A lot more engagement, I think. A lot more things that they can get uh, up close and personal with. They can see the stories there. Uh, a lot more visual a lot more interactive, a lot more um, of an experience, I think. You know, it, it, I don't want to sort of do down how it was before, but it, you know, there's been such, such a lot of thought and effort has gone into delivering something that everyone would hopefully would like. This is hopefully going to deliver on that. We do have new aircraft on display. We do have a lot of interactives. We do have an AV um, presentations, which weren't there before. A lot of people, so many people say they've driven past this place so many times. Myself included, I've honest with you before, you know, long before I, I came to the place. And um, I think that hopefully we're going to have a lot more engagement. We've got a lot to offer, and we keep offering it, you know, every holiday, everything like that. So I'm hoping that people actually see it for what it's worth. It's on their doorstep. People of Andover and Salisbury can come in and, and, and see a, a, a really good experience. And do you think people can kind of learn a bit more about army flying history? Definitely. I mean, I've learned so much just by working here. It opens on the 1st of April. Uh, we, it was a soft opening, nothing sort of grand. We can have people, but the, the doors open on the 1st of April at 10am.